Good morning, Darren Alf here from BicycleTrainPro.com. I just left my hotel, which I did not want to leave, it was so nice. And now I am climbing up a short hill over the mountain to the town of St. Remy here in southeastern France. Now today there's two options. One, I can go straight to my hotel, check in and rest or see the city. There's some tourist things to do in town. Or I can go on a short like 28 mile bike ride, I believe it's 28 miles, 34 kilometers, something like that. Um, in a loop that kind of goes around town and then back to the hotel later tonight. So my plan today is to go on the bike ride, do this 28 mile bike ride loop, go back to my hotel later tonight, shower, eat dinner, and then tomorrow I'm gonna stay in St. Remy and do the touristic thing, see the city a little bit and that sort of a thing. So that is the plan for today and tomorrow. But right now, I need to get back on my bike and climb over this mountain. All right, I made it to the top of the hill. It was a pretty easy climb, actually, just a little bit of traffic on the road. Um, it's all downhill now to St. Remy. Should be a very enjoyable ride today. Okay, so I made it over the mountain and I am now on a quiet country back road heading east past the city of St. Remy, kind of towards the airport, and then I will loop back around towards the town later this afternoon. The weather today is perfect. I'm in my jersey. It's not cold, it's not hot. It is 100% spot on. here so I'm taking a little lunch break. Last night at the uh, restaurant when I was having my dinner and leaving they gave me this. I'll open it up so you can see. Um, it's like a pastry of some kind and it looks really nice so I'm gonna eat it now for lunch.
All right, so I've gone about as far as I'm gonna go today. I'm on a very quiet country road. Haven't seen a car in about 10 minutes, but I'm on my way back to town now. Bonjour. After a full day of cycling around the region, I made my way back to the city and checked into my hotel. Before it got dark, I decided to take a walk around the city center and then get some dinner at one of the restaurants near my hotel. In the morning, I took another short spin around the city center before walking approximately two and a half kilometers to the ruins of the ancient city of Glanum, which dates back as far as the 6th century BC. The most interesting part of exploring this ancient stone city, in my opinion, was seeing the aqueducts which were made of stone and ran from the houses, down the middle of the street, and out of the city. Finally, on my way back to the city center, I stopped to visit the St. Paul Asylum, which is a psychiatric institution where the famous painter Vincent van Gogh committed himself in 1889 and lived for approximately one year. During his stay in the asylum, van Gogh created numerous paintings and drawings, many of which lived on to become his most famous pieces of work. This is where the entire bike tour came to an end. And it's interesting that the Provence Prestige and Velo bike tour ended with a tour of the asylum where Vincent van Gogh spent a few years of his life and painted a bunch of his most famous paintings. I didn't know much about van Gogh before this, although I had seen many of his works over time. but. Only once I arrived in Provence and completed this bike tour and then went to the asylum where Van Gogh actually lived 
and painted some of his most famous pieces. Only then, once I got there, did I realize how Van Gogh was inspired by France to paint his paintings. And not just France, but this particular region of France. And so it was really interesting that I kind of came into this bike tour not knowing much about this particular part of the world. Obviously, I'm like mis mispronouncing the names of all these places. <laughs> um, I don't speak any French, but I felt like on the last day of this bike tour that I came out of the experience with a greater appreciation for not only France, but this particular part of France and also for Vincent van Gogh. Um, very, very interesting going to this asylum and it was actually something that I thought I was going to skip. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not too interested in going there. That's Maybe I'll just skip that part or whatever. Um, but I'm so glad that I didn't because it was the trip to Vincent van Gogh's asylum that actually brought this whole trip full circle for me. Um, there's just something about seeing Vincent van Gogh's paintings next to the landscapes that inspired him to paint those paintings. Put the two together and it was just like And that's kind of the way I feel making this video now is like hopefully you watched the entire video from my trip here in the Provence region of France and maybe this video will inspire you in some way to go off on your own bicycle touring adventures, whether in France or somewhere else in the world. So I want to thank you for watching. Once again, I hope you enjoyed my travels here with Belle France in southeastern France. And if you want to learn more about this particular bike tour, maybe you'd like to do this bike tour for yourself, with a loved one, with a friend, with a group of friends, be sure to visit the official Belle France website at bellefrance.com or go to my website at bicycletouringpro.com and search for Belle France. Once you do that, you'll find my full review of this particular bike tour as well as all of the photos I took from the tour and the full video from my trip here in southeastern France. All right, that's it. I am Darren Alf from BicycleTrainPro.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you out on the road sometime soon. Au revoir! Au revoir, mademoiselle! Au revoir, mon chou! Au revoir! <laughs> My French pronunciations are so bad. <laughs> uh.